moving moving on from Africa to another Africa. China. Yeah, I guess. You know, yeah, technically. They, they're coming into Africa building mm-hmm. stuff. They said they were building a train. Are they building any train in here? Have you seen any construction <laughs> Why are they building yeah. a train? Aren't no, they oh, supposed no, to no, just... No, it's, no, it's not us. I think it's for them. Yeah, aren't they supposed oh, to just increase... Mm-hmm. Aren't they supposed to... What's going on in the how train development then? I don't think it was, aren't they still doing that? Was, was it a private thing? Was it a private company? How train is a private company. I think it's partly owned by the state, but it, it is private. Okay. Mm. All right, man. Let's, let's let's go to another country where they are. Like, look at this guy. TikTok. Like, like, look at this guy, Doc. Do you think this guy is, has any bad intentions? I don't think it's him. Oh, okay. So you think it's the government? At the end of the day, he does need to report to the government. Every every Chinese owned company okay. is reports to the government. Right, they don't have a choice. It's not like Let, let's hear the man out, Doc. The man is saying stuff. Let me start by addressing a few misconceptions about ByteDance, of which we are a subsidiary. ByteDance is not owned or controlled by the Chinese government. It's a private company. 60% of the company is owned by global institutional investors. 20% is owned by the founder and 20% owned by employees around the world. ByteDance has five board members. Three of them are American. Now, TikTok itself is not available in mainland China. We're headquartered in Los Angeles and in Singapore, and we have 7,000 employees in the U.S. today. Still, we have heard important concerns about the potential for unwanted foreign access to U.S. data and potential manipulation of the TikTok U.S. ecosystem. Our approach has never been to dismiss or trivialize any of these concerns. We have addressed them with real action. Now, that's what we've been doing for the last two years, building what amounts to a firewall that seals off protected U.S. user data from unauthorized foreign access. Hey, that's the man right there, guys. Uh, sh- 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who? Sh- 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 what? Uh, his name Cho something. Jo. Jo. That name is actually better written in thingy. In what? Because I don't think that's not the name I saw the, when they were showing it. When uh, What's his name? Joe. Something. Yeah, Joe. Joe what? I don't remember. Joe Chu. Something. Joe Chu. C H E U. Oh, Joe Chu. Something like that. Something. Around of. Yeah, I mean, it's out here just pleading for poor TikTok. You know, people are trying to push it away. What's pleading? I don't know. It's out here going, guys. It's not what you think. No. It what? is what we think. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Because they all are what we think. <laughs> yeah, but the only problem is, it's Chinese owned. But what are they? What What are these? What's the difference between China and the US? What are the? What's? It's like, well, why are we trusting? Why, 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 why do we trust China the US? and the US mm-hmm. may possibly be going to war? Okay. World War Three. Yeah. World War Three, according to, very like um, Andrew Busterman. I, f- I hope I p- pronounced his last name correctly. Mm-hmm. Andrew Busterman will tell you that World War Three is not fought the same way as World War Two, whereas we are gun blazing and everything like that. No, World War Three will be fought with cyber tech and it's things like that. In, yeah, they would, it's just going to be enhanced. It's going to be much broader. You understand? So think about it like this. TikTok... Yeah. With I think it's a weapon. It is because now the whole timeline for China to be a superpower is 2030. And guess what happens when it's 2030? The kids who are busy on TikTok right now okay. have buying power in 2030. Oh, okay. So they're the adults. They're the adults. Okay. Do you understand? So the 16 year old in 2030 is the adult. Mm-hmm. Now they, how old? 20, 21. Whatever, yeah, that. they're working or yeah. they're studying. They have buying power. Okay. So instead of now, the changes. This is what we were talking about yesterday, right? Changes. Is China going to be the best leader of the, the whole nation. world? Because it's the know. whole world. I guess. The USA is the leader of the whole world. We all step to the USA's foot. Yeah, that what? But the USA has been very... I wouldn't say it's soft, but they've been very soft these days, dog. 
Look, there's no longer U- there's no longer U.S. pride. Like someone Knox. was saying, is saying someone. Oh, I, I, uh, was it? Andrew How Schultz can you have saying, U.S. pride with all the things that are happening? But I'm just saying, like no one, no one. Someone was scared to wear a U.S. shirt, like uh, with the flag, because mm. they said, "Oh man, January 6th, I don't want to be associated with the with those people." January 6th. Now, it was the, the when capital they, when they invaded. So it was, you wearing a U.S.A. shirt means. You are those people. So it's it's no longer U.S. pride and all that. They're going to get sold out by these Chinese people, uh, uh, thingy, government. You see, I don't really care about what happens in South Africa, in, oh. in, no, in the USA. Okay. I care more about what's, what does this mean for South Africa? You understand? Because we are part of a BRICS. <laughs> So there's BRICS well, count, there's BRICS count uh, in this. Yeah, in this no, sense. BRICS does. BRICS, BRICS is actually a big deal. <laughs> so, it's actually a big deal. So it we acts. Are, we're in the China. Yeah, you're in the column. China camp. We're in the Russian column now, yeah. dog. Jeez. Oh, Russia what? column is China camp. Yeah, no, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm <laughs> you, saying. We're, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just putting us in all these places. Yeah. So. So. Yeah, but India is kind of crushing it, isn't it? My problem is one. Mm-hmm. They're not treating your TikTok the same way as they're treating their TikTok. They are TikTok but in you China. Said it's your not TikTok in China. Your TikTok mm. is not promoting uh Science. South Africans who are doing great and brilliant things. Dogmate. Your TikTok is showing you the Yeah. 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 It says not my TikTok, but my TikTok is when I went back now. You a TikTok okay. fan? Yeah, 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 no. So what happened? So here's my, here's my TikTok story. Mm. I had TikTok account, mm. crushing it, mm-hmm. deleted it. <laughs> Not the account, just yeah. deleted the, the app. Yeah. Came back on the app of you know, two, three months. I was like, oh. Oh, God, you we had a bed. Yeah, because yeah. you said, oh, you can't live without social media. So I deleted mm. all my social no, media. No, it was just TikTok. Or was it, I deleted was all, it all of them. them. I left WhatsApp. I oh, left okay. WhatsApp on the phone. I had Facebook because of some, cause, but it wasn't my Facebook. Mm. So I uh, uh, came back after three months. My TikTok before, it was just jokes, mm-hmm. fun, kids dancing, not mm-hmm. even provocative dancing, just mm-hmm. just normal dances on mm-hmm. TikTok. Came back on TikTok. Let them know. Let me tell you something. First <laughs> video, dog. I mean, it was out of out of this world. I'm like, geez, what's going on already? <laughs> I was, the thing is, I was shocked. I'm like, okay, all right. Swipe. Yeah. Then, okay, there's some jokes. Swipe again. Then I'm, starting, I'm starting to see these videos now. That's the thing, and it just it just comes and comes and, and I was, comes. And I was comes. actually and you go, oh my god, because even Lou, I was listening to un- by the unbox therapy guy. Lou mm. was like, "Hey dog, I went there and it was criminal." That's what he said. <laughs> he said, hey, "I was watching these things and I was like, this is hey, criminal." Hey, hey. Look, dog, they found a way to just be on the edge, just on the edge, but not fall. Just just walk. Yeah, no, just just walk on the edge. That's it, and you just go. Ah. Look, this I was videos for me, but I, now, but uh, can I just say, mm. when I went back now, I was like, all right, let me just. Oh, you back? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I, okay. I, I had it like a f- last month, maybe. Okay. Then I was like, all right, let me just go on TikTok and see. Then I was, I was like, sc- you, you scroll through only. So when the, when the the video comes, I, I, I would, I'd, I'd go on, go out faster, whatever. I'd do, I'd try and do that, and it get it, it was, it was feeding me, people cooking. People cutting grass, but I didn't have an account. It would just feed me like different. Where stuff. are the great South Africans? Did you see? Uh, no, nah, it was just some comedian kid. Did you see that kid Benz? You're the only person that knows this kid. Exactly. You're the only person that. Knows Why is he not blowing up in South African, on South African TikTok? He, I don't know. I know. I was. No, I'm know. just giving you an example. Yeah, because he, he posts the TikTok he, every day. Like it's his, yeah. That's what he said in his interview. Oh, it's his responsibility. But why are we not seeing him? I don't know, dog. This is this is. I guess this is what Stefan Benz. Why are you not seeing that Stephane kid? Benz. Yeah. Let's, let's give him a shout out on our on our. Why are we two. not get, Why are we not seeing Stefan uh, Benz? I dog. I I don't know, man. I don't on I don't, our TikTok. I, I don't want to say just because he's. That. Look, I was even looking at this article, The Citizen, okay. right? This lady, she breaks down the situation in yeah. terms of what's going on, right? We have an actual regulator with regards to our information. But we are South Africa. We are not powerful enough to actually act on this situation. So, yeah. Stefan Benz. Check this kid out. 
can Apparently sing. Next, the next Justin, Justin Bieber. Well, let's not put that much. No, 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 but I'm just saying, like, this I, I, w- is, this I is know how I was much, saying that, but let's is, not this, put this it out. How there. much that guy that signed him believes in? Yeah, it. he believes so, that he, much. He signed in to like kid. a US company thing, mm. a record label company mm. or whatever. And no, 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 no. He signed to that guy specifically. Oh, that guy specifically. So yeah. the the guy used to work for Republic. Okay. Yeah, I think they got the facts wrong on News 24. Oh, okay. Yeah, the guy used to work for Republic. He left Republic. He's independent. Finds this kid. Yeah. And he's been working with him since he was 12. So yeah, this kid yeah. is not on our TikToks. He's not going crazy on our TikToks. Why? I've never seen him on social media. I've, I've, never, seen him. I've never seen anyone speaking about him. In South Africa. But we have great people. Do you understand? Uh, we have great people who come from South Africa. Brad Binder comes from South Africa. Yeah, no one speaks about that TikTok. Guy. And he's crushing it, by the way. And he, you see... Last week's MotoGP. How did he do? Had a headache. Had a, had a thing. Had an injury. He was mm. missing an injury. Mm. But dog, he was number six. He was crushing it. He was he was almost number four. But yeah, no. Was, but yeah. You great understand? guys are just out there crushing it. Look. And no one is going, oh yeah. But you know... This lady was actually on the citizen, the one that I was telling you. Just, yeah. yeah. She's, she describes the situation, right? Situation is that TikTok is in trouble for feeding in information ByteDance. ByteDance owns TikTok, yeah. right? ByteDance is a Chinese company which has to report to Chinese government, government and authorities. Yeah. If he, so now they're saying that you are taking Americans' information and you are feeding. Americans terrible uh, terrible content. content at the same time and you're taking their information and you're giving it to the Chinese government yeah. right he's saying there's no such thing but realistically speaking you it's your duty as a Chinese citizen yeah. to feed especially if you're a Chinese owned company you need to give your information to the Chinese authorities if they ask for it yeah you understand? Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. So that's why the Senate is now trying to ban the TikTok. Thing. TikTok. You know, the unfortunately, they did, well, uh, wait, I can't say unfortunately or fortunately, Ooh, but they guy, did. They look. did deny it, yeah, right? Yeah. One, 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 of, one of the, the Senate, Senate, Senate members. Yeah, I think it was something Paul. Was it something Paul yeah, denied it Paul. due to um, what Rand do you call this? Paul. Rand Paul. Yes, due to what? What was it? He said. Freedom, yeah, yeah, and there were people the freedom of speech, yeah. There were people kind of complaining on this thing as well. They were like, Ah, dog, I don't know, business already there. This is kind of gonna be a tricky situation. I don't deny TikTok that TikTok is like the fastest way to just grow, like, it's so easy to get like followers on TikTok mm. if you if you just out there just crushing, it. yeah. I it's don't deny that, two million. but Knox, okay, I don't easy. know I don't how know I feel. Know how I've never been on TikTok, yeah, uh-huh. right? Glad now that I haven't, but I don't. <laughs> Knox. Too bad I told do you, you. Do you understand you going, that? You're going to be by the way, guy. By the way, you guys need to start learning Mandarin. I'm going to start learning Mandarin. Do you understand that 2030, right? <laughs> Knowing English alone mm-hmm. will no longer suffice. I know, baby. <laughs> Yo, you need to learn Chinese, Knox. Mandarin. You it's need to learn Mandarin. Yeah, no, but you need to learn some form of Chinese language. Okay, Why? Because they're going to be the norm. That's where the norm is going to be. Oh. I'm just, I'm just a citizen of the, of, of the world. <laughs> you're exactly. Like, you're As like the a, citizen like, of the world, you're going you're to have you're to you're learn always, Mandarin. Panicking, dog. You're like always panicking. I'm not panicking. You're the guys that ma- that's I'm making not these panicking. banks collapse. You, no, you are I'm the <laughs> people that are making these I'm banks collapse. I'm not panicking. Collapse. I'm telling you the reality. <laughs> reality is, if... The, if America what? doesn't sort out the ish, okay. all that and conflict that's going on, you as South Africa are going to be affected. Now, yes, you are on no, the right breaks, side. Yeah, no, you are on the right side. Mm-hmm. But you are not play. You see, if you are on the right side properly, you would take the customs of China, right, and actually implement them in your society. But you like haven't what? been doing. What do you mean, bad God? I'm asking. <laughs> you take the customs, Knox. Oh, you so you do. You'd learn Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have a choice. I don't know if you'd learn Mandarin, right? You you yeah, conduct business the same way as they conduct business. You take here. what Mandarin. Imagine going to public school. Do you think 
You know oh, in Lesotho they learning Mandarin. Oh yeah, and but in Lesotho wants to take over the state. In Les and Les oh. <laughs> Well, that's not happening. And even if they do, mm-hmm. they can take everything. They can leave Bloemfontein alone. Why? And 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 Velcom. Those are those are economic powerhouse. That's an economic Maybe powerhouse. That's why they want the free state. They said free state. They didn't say part of. Free, yeah, no. They said free state and part of. They can have other. all of it, upset for. Sure you know what? Mm-hmm. To be fair to them, because I know, like the the surroundings, yeah. right? Just hold on. Jeez, man, you expect you didn't have to do that. Mid explaining, this guy didn't even feed me the, the the ball correctly. This guy. Yeah, you can carry on with your so Lesotho yeah, story. So yeah, Lesotho wants to take over the South Africa, uh, free state and <laughs> other parts of South Africa, whatever, whatever they they're trying to do. You know, I've I've never actually understood the whole Lesotho situation because I always thought the Lesotho when I was a kid, at least I always thought the Lesotho, the Lesotho thing was a whole. I thought there because when you drew the South African map, you always leave that space there in Lesotho. So I always thought. That because they always spoke about the diamond hole, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever thing was. I always thought the suit there by the suit was the diamond hole. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, geez, man, this thing is so big that we actually have to trace it out on the map like that. So yeah, if y'all are saying the suit deserves no, the no, thing, because no, no, no. you're saying you're saying that you know their surroundings and their surroundings is I, I the Eastern no Cape. Is the Eastern Cape the Free State? I, I can too. understand them wanting more, more, more. But they have those mountains that, more, are, that are feeling more what, as well, water. More of a radius. I don't know if I can put it okay. like that. Yeah, the, the mountains are actually were, are separating us from them. Yeah. I understand them doing that. Like, for instance, where I was, I was think, an hour away from the border of Lesotho. Okay. I understand if they wanted to take that place because it's so close, right? It's just there. It's literally right there. And then, but they can't get to Free State. Free State's far. It's two hours. It's a two, it's two, three hour drive from, from, lit, if they, country. to Bloemfontein. They speak our language. They can't take Bloemfontein. They speak our language. What? Soot. Soto, you speak Northern Soto, they speak Southern. Yeah, I'm saying in the Free State as well. What about it? Northern Soto is Spady, though. <laughs> yeah, they speak Southern. Yeah, I'm saying it's Spady. So in you Free speak state, Northern. What do they speak in, in uh, Free State? They don't speak Northern. Southern. southern. Yeah, they don't so speak Spady. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, I'm saying. The Soto, yes. they want the Free State, they speak their language. So might as well just take you all in. You're no, it's just people. because they write there. No, and in fact, they speak closer. A lot of the time, also. So what? Yeah, what now? Tosses are so to so to so to people as well. We take everything. We take dog. <laughs> it's there. What Nox. If, but yeah. Anyway, you're going something about this. How did you even get to Lesotho? We got to. We were talking about TikTok and China the, and oh, Lesotho TikTok. being be now learning Mandarin. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm, and it, it's a thing. It's a thing. At the end of the day, let's not forget Africa took all this money from China and. Okay. So we we owe them now. How? Yes, of course. It because was a loan. Okay, it was a donation. There's, there's like Asians in Lesotho that speak. Yeah, Soto. no. The, the Asians, China owns the buildings in Lesotho. In Lesotho. They just lease them out back to Lesotho. Yeah, the 100 years lease. Yeah, year lease. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. And they own the buildings. They own the infrastructure in Lesotho. They've put up this great infrastructure. What was that town called? Ah. I, ah. Damn, I forgot to that town. It's like Joburg now. The town they built yeah, it to, to be similar special. like Joburg. Yeah. yeah I forgot what Maseru. The, Maseru. Oh, that's the, that's the, always been what? the town. That's always been the town. Yeah, but now it's actually like Joburg. Like now they don't need to leave and come to Joburg for opportunity. They've got opportunities in Maseru. Yes, they would still prefer to go to Joburg because it's just so Fresh much events. more. But... Um, Maseru is, is enough. Okay. They've done pretty well for themselves they are, they due they to like China. The tall buildings and all what? that. The, the problem is the Chinese citizens have come in and have built these businesses and now majority of the economy is run by Chinese citizens. Okay. And by the way, a Chinese citizen is technically a part of the Chinese intelligence. They report, they, yeah, they report they to report. China. 
You be reporting. Yes. Poor guys. Every Chinese citizen reports to China. Whoa, is this a Any, fact? Yeah, anyone who leaves, uh-huh. look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Anyone who leaves, right? Okay. China to go to a different country has the obligation to report to China what they, what if China asks for intel. intel. What are they reporting? Or oh, anything? Anything? Yeah, they anything want? that China asks for. Is this a known thing? Is it? It's known from by who? It's this from who? No, but a, a reliable source. Like I said, a reliable I source. If you said this in public, I you the guy. feel embarrassed to mention the guy. Why? Because I've mentioned him already. Now it seems as if I'm only getting my information from Who's just him. Guy? But then I'm also getting it from other people. Other people, Pat has also said it. Pat has also said that. You know how Pat is. Pat has also said it. Andrew said it. Um, Andrew who? Busterman. Uh, who else has dealt with? Oh, there's an economist guy. Ah, I forgot his name. I think it was something keen. He was on Lex Friedman. He said the same thing. Same thing. Getting their info. They get the information from citizens. However, they as soon as they ask for it, the oh. citizen is, is obli- obligated to report back to China. Literally, the way China played this whole situation, yeah, golden, golden. I don't know, man. I what do you mean, China? You've China. got a, you've got the most viral social media, Crushing viral, it, getting information, right? yeah. getting information from every corner. India banned it because they knew. Oh, so even if India's India, in your bricks, yes, yeah, but I'm, they were like, nah, geez. we don't want this thing. Ah, yeah, relax. They were like, yo, relax. Ah. We we know what you are doing. We we understand. Relax. Not oh, here. God, we don't know. We are not rich enough. How is India? No. In, it yeah, India us? has a, a very good economy right Why now. Fastest money? growing economy in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Really killing it. Oh, they they're really moving. They working. They just working. Better than South they Africa. doing what? Yeah. They what? No, I'm just saying like better <laughs> no. than South Africa. Way. You are a lazy state. India has oh. decided to become China with in terms of the work ethic. Japan. And Japan, yes. In terms of the work ethic, mm-hmm. they were just like, "Yo, you know what? We are tired we're of being broke. We are tired of being broke. So we'll be broke for the next twenty-five years. But after that, we we are golden. Right. You understand? Is the trees for the trees you'll never sit in? That's yeah, right. yeah. Because that's what China did. They decided that you know what? Unfortunately, for the next twenty twenty-five to fifty years, right? Yalla, we will yalla down, yalla not gonna yeah you'll be working very mini, minimist or minimal of minimal wages this right is, this is not your fruits yeah it's someone else's fruits this is someone else's fruits it's the sacrifice for the good of all 